Pear Blossom Festival was just one of the many large-scale events that was put on pause by the pandemic. But now it's returning to the streets of downtown Medford with a concept that's put the idea of parades on its head. NBC5's Anthony Carter has our top story tonight at 11. Anthony. Anna, the festival will still be on for Saturday, April 10th. But because of COVID restrictions, people will still be able to watch the festivities, but it won't be anything like you've seen before. After a year off, the Pear Blossom Festival is gearing up for a comeback. But it won't look like this, according to Pear Blossom Festival President Darcy Mansell. It's actually going to be an upside down parade. She says that means the people who normally drive by you in these floats will set up on a sidewalk. This year, you'll be in a parade and drive by them. Just the reverse of what usually happens. The best part for many parade lovers and young children, Manself says the plan can stay in place regardless of Jackson County's risk level. So I think the way that we have it set up, it'll be really, really easy to follow the mandates and keep everyone safe and everyone happy, yet give them a little something to look forward to. Because the festival plans to host nine events, it is getting spread across four different weekends. The street festival is still on, but in a smaller venue and following distancing and mask guidelines. So it will look somewhat like a farmer's market where they're following all the rules and limited number of people, limited number of booths. Festivities like the Pear Fair and Smudge Pot Stroll will be limited with tent and restaurant space. But events like the Baby Contest are going virtual. The Pear Blossom Parade is planning to put on a big show, despite the smaller than normal crowds. I think we can still have this festival and let everyone that can attend have a good time. A good time keeping a Southern Oregon tradition alive, despite any obstacles. Mefra's oldest tradition at Pear Blossom Junior Royalty Pageant will be held at a church next Friday. More information, including how to purchase tickets for some of the events, can be found on their Facebook page. Live in studio, Anthony Carter, NBC5 News.